All right, the last thing, um, pretty much like a combination of like fan questions we've been having, but it's all kind of uh, around the the welterweight division and just the state of it. Um, you know, the questions being like, you know, is is this man going to fight Colby or is Leon going to get the shot? Uh, what happens with Gilbert and Steven? So there's kind of that top five slash champion um, is the mix and then just kind of like, I guess, from you guys, what do you see from a fantasy booking standpoint? And, um, you know, how does this play out? I'm not going to go with the fantasy booking. I'm going to go with, I think this is the order it's going to go in. It's going to go Colby. Or that. And then I think the winner, uh, I think if Steven Thompson beats Burns, I think he leapfrogs Leon Edwards. For some reason, Dana's not impressed with Leon, and he's not going to give him a shot. He's gonna ha- Leon's going to have to fight somebody else, whether it's Masvidal or he's got to get he's going to have to get a big a big vicious win over somebody that makes him think okay now I can sell this but right now the last thing that people remember of Leon Edwards he was on stilts in the 5th round by Nate Diaz yeah that's all they remember they don't remember the first 4 rounds where he was piecing him up giving him the two piece without the soda they don't remember that they don't that, that, that that's not even in their mind all they remember is that he was wobbled and rocked and had to survive for the last minute of the fight that's all they remember. No different than what we were just talking about a second ago about how, you know, it, people are going to remember you for your last fight, Rashad, the, you know, whatever. If GSP was to come in and fight a boxer and lose, they're going to remember that. And so that's exactly what's going on. And I just, Leon is not going to, he's going to have to fight someone else. So I think my honest opinion is this, is that I think Colby's going to get the next shot because that's a moneymaker fight. Yep. Because they don't like each other. It's a draw. They know they're going to make their money on that fight. It's, it's smart business. That makes sense. Steven Thompson, if he wins, I think he leapfrogs Leon. And then I think um, Leon's going to probably fight the winner of Chiesa and Vin- uh, Vicente Luque. That's how, I think that's what they're going to have to do. Because then Steven Thompson will fight. And then after that, they're going to they're gonna pretty much have to give Leon the fight. I mean, like he's already, I know he's on a big time fight win streak. But you beat Chiesa, you beat Vicente Luque or whoever it is that wins that fight. You know, I mean, or it, during the fight that Stephen Thompson fights, you'd have Leon fight the winner of Stephen Thompson because Stephen Thompson's coming up here shortly, correct? Yep. I believe that's coming up here shortly, Burns and Stephen Thompson. Yep. So you can have Stephen Thompson and Leon Edwards fight to see who fights after Colby. I could see them potentially doing that as well. But, I mean, you kind of ruin your division if you do that. You'd like to have more options, like what's next for, for Usman, you know? I Leon know. and Stephen, Stephen Thompson is a fan favorite. Well, he should be. Yeah, he is. The, guy, he's, the he's, guy's one of the, the nicest individuals you'll ever meet. He's fun to watch. You know, very rarely has a bad fight. You know, and uh, just there's nothing there's nothing bad you can say about him. So, you know, I, uh, I look at it and go, it makes sense if he beats Durino, you know, he deserves to be moved up there. Um, yeah. I'm not sure that his style matches up well. With someone like Usman, it might, that might be a tough one, but he's tough to take down. But we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, I I kind of agree with you. I think the, I think that last round of the Diaz fight and the fact that when we talked about it, the fact that Leon went out there and he was he was piecing Nate up for a lot of that fight, did a lot of great stuff, the leg sweeps, everything he did, he really was looking good. But he wasn't. It did not look that he was looking to finish. Yeah, that was the big thing. There were moments where you looked. You said, "Oh, he's in." Nate's in, in a little bit of trouble, and you didn't see Leon doing anything to press just a little bit more to push that action on him. And I think that's one of the things, along with the fact that he got hurt and was on, you know, rubbery legs there for uh, that last you know minute of the of the fight. I, I do believe that they, they're going to want to put him against somebody else. Yep. The, the nine-fight win streak is not going to be enough. He's going to have to get a ten-fight win streak. So I agree with you. I, I think Colby gets the next shot against Usman. I think it's a good rematch. I think it was a great fight the first time. You know, I, know, I know people are going to be upset with the Colby fans out there that I say, I don't think it's going to be as close. I just don't. You know, I, I just look at the way Colby hasn't fought. I said, well, that's what that guy was just saying. One time. Said, slid into my DMs. He's like, fucking, what do you mean Kobe hasn't changed? He's fucking, he's gangster. He's with the new crew. He's this and gangster. that. I'm like, you're, you're fucking hey, let me stupid. Let me tell you one thing right now. Kobe's anything but gangster. Okay? <laughs> and yeah, I've been around enough gangsters in my uh, life. Oh, it, Colby's a good fighter. He is a good yeah, fighter. He and, is. and he's he's a guy that 
he uses his wrestling against most guys. But every time when you look at a fighter, you got to look at that matchup. And this matchup with Usman, this is Colby's toughest matchup. It's the one that is going to create him, you know, for him, the most problems in the, in the fact that his wrestling is nullified. For the most part, it's nullified. And you take a look at he is a volume guy. He's got a he's got a great gas tank. He comes after you and puts relentless pressure. There's a guy named Usman that does that same type of thing. Now Usman's backed off a little bit on putting that relentless pressure and has become more uh, creative in how he'll step back and take time and then put pressure, then step back. And I think that a lot of that has to do with his time with you know Trevor Whitman and stuff. But he's getting he's getting used to creating a rhythm that he then alters the rhythm and then brings it back and does things different instead of being in that drive the entire time. So, you know, that may give Colby a chance. It may cause Colby more problems, you know, but I look and say the, the biggest difference between the two is volume versus power. Yeah. Colby has proven that he's not that guy that has that one punch power. He can't put you out with one punch where Usman can it's not that Colby can't put you out. He can, but it's going to be through. He hurts you. You end up getting put down to the ground. He, he puts you out with a you know, a TKO stoppage by the referee due to ground and pound, but he's not the guy that can end you with one shot. That's mm-hmm. where Usman definitely has an advantage in the fight. So I just look at it that way. Yeah. What, when I talked, when I had said this, and you know, I get people telling me that I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, is... You look at the changes and the differences from the time he became the champion. I'm talking about Usman from the time he became the champion and where he's grown in the areas that he was weakest, which is in the standup and learning how to set a tempo where he's not just having to shoot and shoot and shoot because he was afraid of the being on the feet. He's proved that he can stand with people. He's had knockouts with stand up people, yep. you know, against Mazadal being the most current one, but he is and with Burns as well. I mean, like, but, stylistically with Burns, he knew that, look, Burns is good on the ground. Why even take the chance? Gonna have to work. Yeah, we're not going to yeah. go to the ground with him. With um, with uh, Mazadal, it was surprising that he didn't shoot more, you know, or that he didn't try to shoot. But the fight didn't last long. But it, so also, he was, but he, but also, it also speaks volumes about his confidence. His confidence yeah. in what he can do on his feet now. And, and, look, he's had great coaching when he was with Henry Hooft and, you know, Greg Jones and those guys at Sanford and he's getting great coaching from Trevor Whitman. You, you almost had people drinking right there. I'm just telling you, I you did. almost had people drinking. <laughs> I almost did. I almost did. But, you know, it's, you can see how Usman as the champion is continuing to get better at time. There's just little yeah. things he's doing that makes him better. And one of the things he's doing is he's fighting Colby one fight since his fight with Usman. He got. He had the fight with Woodley. You yeah. know, you got to fight. You know what man. that is? That's that's fighters that are afraid to lose their position. That means that they're not confident in the fact that, like, I get it. If they do, if you don't want to fight someone who's like who's ranked ten, I understand. Yeah, totally, you don't benefit from that. If you want to give me someone like, like if you want to give me someone in the top five, I'll go stamp my name on their ass. That's fine, no problem at all. Go do that. But he doesn't want to do that. He wants to fight. He want, He took the T Wood fight because he knew that he could probably outpace T Wood. You know, T Wood was older and just. The wrestling wasn't what it used to be, you know, and he just knew that I could just outpace him, press him to the fence, outwork him, do all of those things. Yep. And he knew it. And so. And he did it. He, those are the, like, those fighters, I get it when you don't want to take something against someone else, like a, a top 10 or a top 15, like you want to fight someone in the top five. But that also means that you're also not as confident in your abilities as say, like, like, like someone who's the champion. They're like, doesn't matter. Bring all the number one guys on because I'm gonna have to fight you all anyways. Doesn't matter who you put in front of me. I gotta fight you. Eventually, you're probably gonna get to me anyway. So let's go. I mean, I know styles make matchups, but when you're talking about Colby, and I said like he hasn't gotten any better since then, since that fight. And sure, and the reason why I know he hasn't gotten any better because he's not active. I until you're active and you're in that cage and that cage door shuts, and I know, like, and I've seen the improvements firsthand. You're not gonna be able to practice those improvements. 
in the gym as much as it's going to have to be effective in, in the actual cage. You can never train as hard in the gym to simulate a fight, no matter how fucking hard you train. So to think that all that shit you learned in practice, or you've been working on it in practice, is it going to work or is it not? We don't know until you get in there. So until you actually get back in that cage, I don't know if it's going to work or not. And that's kind of when I meant like he hasn't gotten better. It's because no one's seen him get better. You know, when he fought T. Wood, he fought the same old Colby Covington style. Punch, 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 press you to the fence, punch, 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 grind on you. That's that right there. That style right there is not going to beat Usman. So I don't know how, I don't know what changes homie in the gangster department there in my DMs thought he was going to, how he's going to win. But, and, and, and look, and I don't, I actually, I kind of like, I like watching Colby fight because he's relentless. I like his little stick he does. It's a stick, guys. He, no, no, it's no, not no. real life. It's no. a stick. Okay. Um, and so I actually, I like the whole thing because it brings a little bit of flair. That's why we're here talking about it. Because if he didn't start doing that shtick, guess what? What is it? No one would be talking about his ass. What is it with guys from Oregon? Yeah, Who's the stick masters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you met people from Oregon, though? <laughs> uh, something in the water. It's a little strange. Um, no, I just, I, I, he's going to get the next shot because it's a moneymaker for them, you know, and then if he loses, if he loses, Dana can just say, okay, look, you know what? Go to the back of the line, dude. I'm done with you. Cause Dana doesn't like him. You know, he doesn't like him. It's, it's like that whole, we used to be friends. That shit's gone. You know, when you walk into a casino, you start trying to film your boss gambling, you know, when people are around a little weird, you know, and, uh, yeah, yeah. You might want to start. Yeah, you start looking for another job. <laughs> you keep losing, buddy. So I think he's gonna get next for for the money. I think the winner of Steven and uh and Burns, Burns, I don't think he's gonna get the next shot. So I could see if Burns loses, I could see Leon and Burns fighting. I could see that, but I would actually see him fighting the winner of Vicente Luque and and uh, Chiesa. I think Vicente I Luque see them against doing Michael Chiesa. That's a good fight. Yeah, it's I could see them doing that. Interesting fight. So yeah, you know. So we'll see. Who knows? We'll see how it all plans out, but Kobe will be next, and then I think Stephen Thompson will be next, uh, unless Stephen Thompson gets the win. Edwards. If he yeah, gets if he gets the win. if he gets the win, but our fans are not stupid. That's why they watch us and not Ariel in DC. Okay, so <laughs> just remember that. All right, so go to yeah mybookie.ag and use the promo code Wayne in. They'll give you a little extra cash on anything you want to gamble on. So there's some things coming up, I believe. You got the fights, yeah. plenty of fights coming up for sure. You lots know. of fights, lots of them, lots and lots and lots.